So Ikea was a success. We got the bookcase that I wanted. It's the Billy bookcase. Billy in uh, Helvetica font. <laughs> yeah, there was another one that I wanted to order for my Blu-rays. It was like from Amazon. And the only thing was that I wanted a white media shelf and they are actually a little harder to find than you may think. So this one actually had more of the look that I was going for. However, I did have to purchase extra shelves so I can fit more things on the shelves, basically. I have all of my Blu-rays in bags and DVDs. I also have them in this TV console over here, so it's gonna be... It's gonna be really fun to finally have them out on display. Yep, I, I, I agree. <laughs> Guess we're gonna build this, so hopefully it's not too hard. I don't think it will be, right? No, I can build. Here's our progress so far. It's not too terribly hard so far. Thankfully, Dalton is much better at building things than I am. Yeah. <laughs> Depeche Mode in April. Oh yeah. I got us backstage passes <laughs> to meet, uh, meet the crew, meet the gang. I will say I'm not as familiar with Depeche Mode as I am, like, The Cure. Yeah. Like, I don't really know a lot of song names. I definitely don't really know band members' names or albums, so... Personally, I just can't get enough of them. <sighs> Okay, well, I got that one! Okay, so it's built. Now I just gotta put the shelves in. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day. I didn't have enough energy to actually organize my Blu-rays and DVDs yesterday, so we're doing it today. I already put all of the individual shelves on the bookcase, so let's just get to organizing. So here's the top of the bookcase. I'm thinking I wanna put my Vinegar Syndrome Blu-rays here. concerns was that this isn't gonna hold all of what I have. I have a really small collection but the shelf is very narrow so I mean worst case I just have to buy another one. I'm gonna put my Friday the 13th box set on the top shelf because I don't know I just think it looks pretty good there. Okay we're gonna move on to the next shelf. I may come back to that shelf and Maybe move some things around, I don't know. We're kind of kind of just seeing what looks good. <laughs> okay, so now we're on this shelf. So for this shelf, I'm thinking I'm gonna put my Criterion. I guess, and see how that looks. Okay, so I think that shelf is good for now. Let's move on to the next shelf down. I believe I have some steel books uh, left, so we're just going to continue putting the steel books on and then see what comes after that. So I think after
after Steelbooks, I want to go ahead and put my Arrow Blu-ray, so. I have more Arrow, but they're kind of like bigger box sets, but I think what actually is going to fit here is the Halloween box set, so yeah, we'll do Michael. Well, that's a perfect fit if I ever saw one. I think that looks pretty good for now. Let's go ahead and move on to the next shelf. So I'm thinking for this next shelf, I'm going to put my arrow box sets and then start just my regular, regular old Blu-rays because honestly that's all I have left as for Blu-rays and then it's all DVDs. if I have them, but that's that's good for now. It's good to leave some space just in case I go out to the store and I get a new Blu-ray tomorrow. Who knows? I'm actually gonna go back to the top shelf really quickly and... So I went back up to the top shelf and I popped in that Taxi Driver uh, special edition, I guess, Blu-ray. I don't know, it's kind of the same height as the vinegar syndromes and like it, it looks like it could be vinegar syndrome just based on the spine, so I don't know, I just popped it in there. <laughs> Sorry if it bothers you that it's like not really with the same label, but you know, just gonna let you see what it looks like so far. I really like how it looks so far. Okay, so everything looks good, but I have run out of Blu-rays. Yes, that is all my Blu-rays. Like I said earlier, I have a very small collection, but all I have left are DVDs and I kind of have quite a bit, so I'm hoping that they all fit, but I, I truly don't know until I start getting them on the shelf. Um, my goal is to eventually like completely phase out all of my DVDs for Blu-rays. The only reason I have so many DVDs left is just because like, I just never got around to upgrading uh, from the DVD to the Blu-ray, but that is the goal. I don't like DVDs, but these are movies that I just still have to own on physical media, so we just gotta deal with the, uh, the DVD, I guess. And as for DVDs, we are just alphabetizing everything. It's not gonna be sorted by genre, so yeah, let's just get to organizing the DVDs. Starting off with some TV series that I have. It's really just my so-called life and Freaks and Geeks. But these are bigger, so I kind of want to just put them first. I don't know if that makes sense to me. shelf is full. I guess we got we got my so-called live freaks and geeks and A through G. Let's go down to the next shelf. Okay, next shelf, let's continue.
Okay, so it looks like that shelf is done. We have H through T. And as you can see, I'm keeping them pretty close to the edge. Like I'm not, there's space behind them to completely push them back against the backboard, but I like the look of this a little better. It gives the illusion that the shelf is a little more shallow. I don't know. I'll give you a complete like head to toe shot of it at the end so you get the full effect. Um, but yeah, this is how it's looking so far. And we're moving on to the next shelf, the second to last shelf. So we're almost done. And I actually only have five DVDs left. So um, yeah, this is it. So this is how the entire movie collection is looking so far. We have VHS on the left, and then the shelf for my Blu-rays and DVDs that we just organized on the right. So yeah, this is how everything looks from afar. Now I'm gonna take you a little closer to each shelf. So we got the top shelf there. We have Vinegar Syndrome and Friday the 13th box set with the addition of Taxi Driver there. And then going down the next shelf, we have my Criterion. And then going down, we've got Arrow. Oh, and the Steelbooks, forgot about the Steelbooks. The Steelbooks are after Criterion. And then we've got the Halloween box set. Going down, we've got more Arrow. We've got the box sets, the slip covers, and then the regular Blu-rays with the Paranormal Activity box set. And then the start of my DVD collection, we've got my so-called live freaks and geeks, and then A through G. And then going down, we have the next shelf, which is like H through T. And then as you can see, we only have five DVDs on the second to last shelf. And then I have a whole other shelf, which makes me happy because now I don't have to immediately go out and buy another one, like another shelf, which is what I was afraid of. So now I can comfortably and safely purchase more Blu-rays if I want to. And I don't have to worry, like, do I have room on the shelf? Because <laughs> that was like a big fear of mine. And I'm glad that everything looks nice and it all worked out. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. I want to thank you guys for watching me organize my new blu-ray and dvd shelf it was a lot of fun i'm really happy with the way that it looks so far and yeah please leave me a comment telling me what you think how does it look to you should i change anything thanks again for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye